your instinct tells you to organize your canter as you get more confident, you do it where it tells you to do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not three strides away, not six strides away, wherever you feel comfortable. If that means that you go out around your first course and have ten time faults, I don't care. All right? But what I do want to see is you make a conscious decision and you only get to make one. You don't come around here and you think, well, my horse is riding quite well. He feels bloody nice. I'm happy with this. So then you have a nice canter and then you start messing with it, thinking you always got to change something and analyze something and micromanage it all the way down to takeoff. And what you end up doing is messing with the canter, the point where usually you've taken it away and then you end up in a, in a, in a bad place. So get it done early enough and then practice keeping it and everything must stay still still there you are you feel how even you 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 feel how much more even you were okay and look how early <clears throat> look how early you set it and you've got to keep you've got to have the discipline to keep it and above all else, you must not press the panic button. And when I first looked at those cones, when you were explaining it, it didn't seem like it was going to be that difficult. But as soon as I came around, I was like, that's when I, what really made me realize, oh my gosh, from here I can't do anything? Like when I came through there, I absolutely, that made me realize how much I do coming to the fact. Right. Right. It's not that you don't do anything, it's you just keep what you created. This is where your horse ends up second-guessing you to the point where they stop believing in you, right? Yeah. 